Hi everybody and welcome to this numerical tests training video. So I'm going to give you some sample questions, um, get you to try out a few yourself and also give you some tutorials. Um, as always, I'd really appreciate it if you do like the video as it goes on to give it a thumbs up. That I'll, um, I'll be really pleased about that and that will motivate me to do more. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel so you get notified as soon as I create some more free training videos. Okay, let's get straight into it. Question number one. What is the missing angle? So what is the missing angle? So we have to work out this part here, which is B. Now, we already know that there are 180 degrees here in total because that is represented by that flat horizontal line across the bottom um, by the red line. So what we have to do is work out 180 minus 30 plus 50 because we've already got 30 degrees and 50 here. So therefore, the correct answer is 100. Really simple. So what is the missing angle? That is 100 degrees. So we need to know that if like that angle is 180 or what is 90, like a quarter of a circle and also a full circle is 360. OK, question number two. So now it's your turn. Please put your answer to this next question in the comments section below the video for marking. OK, question number two. How many degrees is the missing part? So the missing part is all this part here where the question mark is. You're already given 120 degrees and you've got the time it takes that timer to come down to put your answer in the comments section below. So how many degrees is the missing part? Okay, so hopefully you've found that relatively straightforward. So if you know the degrees of a full circle, then you just need to subtract that from 120. Question number three, what is three-fifths of 700? So the way to work this out quickly is just simply um, 700 divided by 5 for the, for the whole of the fifths, and that equals 140, and then multiply 140 by 3 to get the answer of 420. Now, you can use a calculator if you want to um, for the remaining questions that are going to come your way. So again, now it's your turn. If you need to use a calculator, you can. Again, please put your answer in the comments section below. Question number four of the numerical test video. What is four-fifths of 820? And again, you've got the time it takes the timer to come down to put your answer in the comments section below. So four-fifths of 820. Just use the same process that I've used before. And if you're finding some of these tough or you know you don't have enough time, please just pause the video and work through it because it's important you get the answer correct. Okay, question number five. A charity arranges a bike race. Now, 120 people take part. One third of the people finish, in the, finish the race in under half an hour. How many people do not finish the race in under half an hour? So, there's 120 in total. Because we're working in thirds, one third of the people finish it in under half an hour and two thirds don't, we need to work out two thirds. Okay, so 120 divided by three equals 40. And that 40 means that one third of the people finish the race in under half an hour. So, who did not? 40 times 2 equals 80. Okay, so that's the correct answer, 80 to question number 5. So again, now it's your turn. Like I say, if you need to use a calculator, you can. Put your answer in the comments section below. Question number 6. A charity arranges a bike race. 180 people take part. One quarter of the people finish the race in under half an hour. How many people did not finish the race in under half an hour? Off you go. Okay, question number seven. Okay, we've got a pie chart here. It looks a bit confusing upon initial inspection, but all is straightforward. So, Below is a pie chart illustrating the number of pupils studying a course in the following subjects. We've got medicine, law, arts, business, computing, teaching, mechanics, and they're all split up into their different percentages. And the question is, if the data is based on 3,620 students, how many of those students are studying either mechanics or law? So what we have to do is look at um, mechanics, which is 10% and law. So mechanics and law is 10%, and that equals 15%. So what we need to do is work out 15% of the total, which is 3620. We do that by going 3,620 divided by 100 times 15, and the answer is 543. And you should be able to do that relatively quickly um, with a calculator. OK, again, now it's your turn. I'm going to give you one very similar to work out yourself. Question number eight. 
So you've got the pie chart illustrating the same number of pupils, sorry, a number of pupils studying the course in the following subject areas. Now, if the data this time is based on 9,000 students, how many of those students are studying either business over here or teaching? So you've got to work out. Add those two up and then work out what the percentage is of that total. And you've got the time it takes the timer to come down to answer the question in the comments section below, please. Thank you. Okay, well done if you've got that done in the time. Next one, question number nine. Here is a spinner, okay? Circle the chance of the spinner landing on an odd number. So you've got option A, six out of six or one, B, four out of six, C, half, or D, a third. Well, if you look at the numbers, there are six odd numbers. Therefore, the chance of the spinner landing on an odd number is six out of six, and the answer is A, really simple. Next one, again, now it's your turn. Please put your answer in the comment section below. Question 10, here is the spinner. Circle the chance of the spinner landing on an odd number. A, six out of six, B, four out of six, C, half, or D, a third. Off you go. Okay, and hopefully you're still enjoying these. Question number 11. If you count from one to 100, how many numbers containing the number four Will you pass on the way? Now, this is quite a tricky one. It sounds really easy, but it's quite tricky. A, 21, B, 20, C, 19, D, 11, E, 10. So I'll start you off. Obviously, 4 is 1, 14 is 2, 24 is 3, and then you do the rest. Okay, fantastic. Uh, question number 12. Here's one. So it says here, a function is represented by the following machine. So we've got 9 here, plus 12, blank, the answer is 26. And so 9 is put into the machine. The output of the machine is 126. What is the missing function in the second part? So we're looking for that part there. So if you look there, we're given 9 plus 12. So that would be 21. And then we've got the answer 126. So what we'd have to do is work out from the five options, A, B, C, D, or E, 21 times 12, well, that's not 126. 21 divided 12 is not 126. 21 times 6 is 126. So the correct answer is C, which is times 6. Okay, now it's your turn. Very similar one. Please, again, put your answer in the comment section below. Question 12, this is for you. So 15 is put into the machine here, and now you've got times 11. The output of the machine is 55. What is the missing function in the second part of the machine sequence? Is it A? divided by 5, B minus 105, C 100, or D divided by 3. You've got the time it takes the timer to answer the question. Thank you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all of those. Please, like I say, if you've enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel. Again, if you click the link below the video, I'll give you some more free numerical tests. You can go straight to my website where you can get more free numerical tests. I, I love making these videos for you. And um, please let me know in the comments section all your answers or what, what you thought of the videos. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, like I say, I've been Richard McMahon from How to Become and all the very best in preparing for your numerical tests. Thank you for watching.